Hey there, my name is Gardner, your friendly neighborhood Linux gamer. Today I wanted to show you how to get set up with PlayStation Remote Play. This is actually really, really awesome. This works with both PlayStation 4 and PlayStation 5 Remote Play. Um, so if you have shelled out for a PlayStation 5, <laughs> uh, if you've been able to find one on the market, then this will work. Uh, but this also works with PlayStation 4, both the original and the pro version. Uh, I have the original here, uh, so that's what we're going to be using for this video. So the first thing you're going to want to do is hit the Steam button, then go over here to the Power menu, and then select Switch to Desktop. So let's go into the Discover Software Center, and we're going to type in Chiaki, just like that. But we can go ahead and hit Install. There we go. Now we are ready to go. So let's hit Launch, uh, and we don't need this window anymore. Okay, so you're going to need one piece of information. Uh, to get you set up and ready to go on uh, on Chiaki, and that is your PlayStation Network ID. Now, this is not your username. This isn't your gamer tag. This isn't your you know uh, email address that you use to log in to your PlayStation. This is kind of like a behind the scenes uh, piece of information that represents your user account. So what we're going to do is we're going to click on uh, the application launcher. We're going to go to System, and we're going to click on Console. Now, this is the terminal, but don't worry, I'm going to walk you through this, and I've made it as easy as I can here. So, in the description, you're going to have a list of commands uh, that you're going to copy and paste. The first one is curl. Uh, we're going to copy this curl uh, command, and we're going to copy it, and we're going to paste it into our terminal. Now, you don't typically want to uh, copy and paste random commands you find on the internet, uh, but this is, you know, we're going to do this together. This is not a big deal. Go ahead and do this. Um, so we're going to hit enter and what this is going to do is it's going to set up uh, a Python package manager so we can uh, download the correct uh, dependencies that the Chiaki script needs in order to get your PlayStation Network account. So we're going to then copy uh, Python 3, this command here, and we're going to go ahead and hit paste and then we're going to hit enter. Yours might look a little different from mine here because I've already done this, but I forgot to record it when I was doing it. Uh, and then we're going to copy the third command, and this is another curl command. And we're going to right-click in here and hit paste, and then boom. Let that finish. Okay, so the last thing we need to do is just do Python 3, uh, and then PSN account ID dot pi and hit enter. And you'll see this link. We're going to copy this link to our clipboard. We're going to go down here to our web browser. And we're going to paste that in. Now we're going to need to sign into our PlayStation Network account. So go ahead and do that. Now this will take a second, um, but once we're logged in, you should see redirect here on the screen. So now we're just going to copy this URL and we're going to go back into our terminal. We're going to hit paste and then we're going to hit enter. So this is our account uh, ID. So this is what we need right here. So let's go ahead and minimize all that because we don't need it anymore. So what we want to do now that we have uh, Chiaki set up is I'm going to go turn on my PlayStation. And now you can see we have Gardner's PS4 right here. Let's go ahead and open that up. Put in our base64 user ID. We want to make sure we're on the correct PlayStation version and firmware and then we're going to actually go back to our playstation or we're going to go up and to the settings we're going to go down to uh, remote play connections add a device and we'll switch back to our steam deck and what we're going to do is type in that pin number so we have we have two two six seven 0150 and we're going to hit we're going to hit register the console has been successfully registered boom so now we should be able to just double click on this and we're remote streaming now the question is um are the buttons working and it looks like they are so we can actually play any of these games let's play uncharted yeah, we're going to update later. We don't want to do that right now. Boom. So 
You can see that the TV is off right now. Like the PlayStation just shut off the TV for me. And now we can play locally here on our on our Steam Deck. Guys, how cool is this? This is really awesome. And uh, it, it's just natively picked up the uh, control scheme for the Steam Deck here. Uh, yeah, this is freaking cool. This is great if you, you want to play games that aren't available on the Steam Deck, but are for PlayStation. Not aiming very well though. But here's the real question. We're gonna go into Steam and we're gonna add uh, Giaki in there. So we're gonna go add, add a non-Steam game. And we're gonna add Chiaki and hit add to selected. And then we're going to boot back into uh, gaming mode. Now that we're in here, let's uh, go to our uh, library. And of course, it's gonna look a little weird. But let's go to Chiaki and hit play. And let's see how this works. Now, if you're not plugged in with a mouse and keyboard, you can use the touch screen to double tap on this. And there we go, we're connected. Oh my goodness. This is actually pretty awesome, guys. So let's go ahead and hit the Steam menu. And we're gonna go over here and we're gonna go to uh, gyro behavior and let's add as joystick. Uh, and then just continue the game and see how this fares. Because I'm interested to see how the, how the gyro aiming works on, on here. There is a little bit, a noticeable delay with the, joy, with the gyro, I, I'm not gonna lie. Um, but I think it's definitely uh, playable here like this. All right, let's see if I can't murder some mercenaries here. Oh yeah, that's actually making it quite easier, much, much easier to aim. Boom, you see how much, how fast I took those guys out? Oh, dang it. But yeah, that's how you do on, uh, on here, on the, on the uh, Steam Deck. You can actually play PlayStation exclusive games by streaming them from your PS4. That's pretty awesome. I honestly wasn't sure if this was gonna work when I started this project. I didn't test, I just YOLO'd it. And uh, by golly, this actually works pretty dang well uh and it if you have like the original playstation like the original ps4 you're going to be limited to uh the streaming quality at 720p but if you're playing the game on uh oh hello if you're playing the game on um your steam deck screen 720p is all that you need honestly oh i wasn't i wasn't loaded What in the heck? Why are they behaving like that? That's a weird behavior. Anyway, that's the video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you appreciate uh, this kind of content. And if you do, hit that like button. It lets the YouTube algorithm know that these videos are worth your time. You can also uh, hit that subscribe button if you wanna stay up to date with all of the awesome Steam Deck content that we're putting out here on the channel. Um, I am really excited about the Steam Deck. I, I, it seems like you guys are too. So. Yeah, just let me know uh, what kind of other things you wanna see me try out, what other uh, apps and uh, services and stuff you want to have on the Steam Deck. Um, that's gonna do it for now though. Thank you to my patrons. I wanna I want give a special shout out to my patrons. They make what I do here possible. If it wasn't for them, I honestly would not be able to do this. So uh, thank you guys, it really means the world to me. But I think that's gonna do it for now. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you all have a blessed day. And I'll see you guys in the next one.